guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. It's been a minute. I was planning on doing a um, what I eat in a day pregnancy edition. I formatted the card and lost all the footage and I just have been so mad at myself, but um, I'm about to make lunch and that was like one of the big things with, that I wanted to show you guys was the delicious lunch that I make. That's like 360 calories. It's three little baby pizzas and they are so good. Um, I'm trying to be quiet because Sam is training like via webcam someone at its work but i wanted to first talk to you guys about a little scam that i almost fell into yesterday and hopefully prevent it from happening to any of you guys so i want to say first and foremost i am not someone who falls into traps or schemes um i have actually when i there was a restaurant i was working at one time and they almost fell into it and so like me and all the other servers every time the the duke energy duke energy people would call we would like go around and around with them and it was really fun and they personally called me before um and it was a duke energy scheme and it was like oh you haven't paid your power bill and if you don't pay your power bill by now you know we're gonna turn your power off like someone's on their way now and i always was like go ahead and do it like the last time someone actually personally called me i was like go ahead and do it just go ahead and turn the power off um because i paid my bill and i will have so much fun with this and they like cussed me out so i don't really fall into these schemes so a couple weeks ago if you guys follow me on my instagram you know that over like two thousand dollars was taken from my bank account in the middle of the night in the netherlands and i know what website there was like a a website i put my my card information into and then literally it was like four hours later i went to bed and all of my money was taken and so i knew where it was you know what was happening and the bank was amazing they it literally happened on a sunday night i called them on monday morning and by friday i had every penny back in my bank account all the international fees had been taken care of and that was just like regular straightforward someone got my card number fraudulent charges whatever so yesterday i get a call from the bank and it's very specific and they're saying someone in savannah georgia by this name has taken two thousand dollars from your account and they're trying to send it through um, some money service that our bank actually uses like our bank actually has some account where you can send money freely from one account to another account and it was like this person's in savannah georgia and i was like immediately i was so mad i was like this is the second time this has happened in two weeks i have hiccups so you have to excuse me and i was so mad so i called them back they called me so i called them back and the person is like very convincing you know i need to authorize your information can you give me your email address and then they ask for my ein and like the first thing he says or she i think it was a he says is um the last five of your ein don't give me the whole thing and i was like okay so i give them that and then they're, they're like don't give me your whole path you know i don't need your password um, you don't give me your whole password, but give me your email address. And so I give them that and the person was really annoying the piss out of me because they just kept going and you don't know anyone in Savannah, Georgia, and you don't know anyone who may have access. And I was like, no, like I don't, can we just move forward and figure out what's going on? Because someone's trying to send them like money to my account. Like I have such patience for customer service people like probably beyond what they need to, but something about this person just set me off. Like I was like, I don't have time to tell you for the fourth time that I don't know someone in Savannah, Georgia trying to send themselves money. Can we just get this figured out? So while I'm sitting there, they're finally like, okay, ma'am, we're gonna need you to reset your online password. So what you're gonna do is give me your username. And I told them my username and then they said, okay, now you're gonna have to manually go in and reset your password. I'm gonna give you a temporary password and your account's gonna be locked for three to four days. And that's when something in my mind was like, hold on, this is not right. Like, and I got mad at myself because I don't fall for these kind of schemes. And I was like, well, don't you guys usually do that? And also, shouldn't you lock my car? Because that's always, anytime I've had a fraudulent charge, that's the first thing they do. They're like, all right, we gotta lock your card. Um, you know, go ahead and change your information. But it's never been you can totally use your card and i did ask i was like so i can still use my debit card and they're like yeah you'll be totally able to use your debit card you just can't use your online account and i was like okay and something in me was like this is not real and so they're like we want you to change your password to this and they give me the full password and i'm sitting there and i was like let me just google this number so i google the number and it is you know what is there seven digits in a phone number 10 if you count the area code of the 10 digits nine of them are identical to my bank and the last digit is not 
So I click on a website and then I immediately see this is a scam. This is someone pretending to be your bank. So I just kind of went with my gut and I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Hold on. I'm having um, issues with my phone. And the person's like, oh my God, haha, like what kind of phone do you have? An iPhone or an Android? And I was like, I have an iPhone. And so I'm kind of sitting there talking and I'm like, as I'm speaking, I'm actively changing my username and my password so this person can't get into my account and I just hang up the phone they called me 12 times after that and I told Sam I said either one of two things is going to happen either this money's going to come out of my account that was someone from the bank and I was just really rude and hung up on them or this is not real and I literally almost just fell into a scheme and gave someone my online username and my password so I changed literally all of it I changed my email password yesterday um someone tried to get into my email last night but had all that changed and sure enough so I called I tried to call the bank yesterday Sunday um, the fraudulent number and wouldn't you know it the message I get their fraud department is not open for any communication on Sunday and I was like huh so yeah so basically um, and, and it you know it's sometimes from bank account to bank account does take a couple days to show up so I told Sam at this point I'm just playing a waiting game but I don't think that anyone tried to send themselves money um, I think that they were trying to get access to my account and I damn near gave it to them but I don't think that it actually happened um, also because my bank sends me statements like whenever you know I'll send money to someone my bank will send a statement saying like you know you've sent this much and it'll clear in three to four days if you did not do this call this number whatever i didn't get one of those i didn't get a fraud text nothing and so I, you guys i was seconds away from giving this person my password and i don't fall into traps like that and i think i wouldn't have had i not just gone through this two weeks ago or three weeks ago with my debit card but i was just so mad i was like why is this happening again why did i not get a fraudulent text alert why is someone being able like why did someone get access to my online username because that's never it is like usually people get my card info so go with your gut if you have to be rude but i blocked the phone number and of course i have not received any other information from my bank that says anybody has tried to access anything um, all of my information has changed. Even our personal bank account information is now changed. Sam changed his. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. But my gut is telling me that in two days that money is not going to clear because it's, it didn't happen. No one tried to take money. They were just trying a different way and made it sound like someone was trying to steal money. And so I'd give them my username and password. But that's close to literally giving someone access to my business account. Every, you guys, every single bit of money that I make from YouTube, from reward style. I'm, yeah, so I was pretty pissed at myself yesterday. So moral of the story, that long story, do not fall into the trap, trust your gut. If you have to be rude to a customer service person, do it. But if they are trying to change your password for you, like, or know how your bank communicates, because my bank has never, not once in the entire time I've ever had any issues, ever said, we will send you um, a, a bank account, a, a personal password, but you have to change it yourself. They're either like, we can send you a text or, um, you know, you can just choose to not change your account information, but you need to change your account. Like they always kind of leave that up to you. So let's get to making some pizzas. You're being so rude. Hold on. Is there a delivery man coming? I got so, the other day I shared I hated FedEx and so many of you guys responded and were like, honey, same. And I was telling Sam yesterday, I was like, our diaper bag's supposed to be out for delivery. It was Saturday. Monday, no diaper bag because it's being shipped via FedEx. And this one girl got such an attitude with me about like her brother works for FedEx. So I shouldn't hate on the whole company. And I was like, sis, it's not that deep. First of all, like it's literally just like I'm shit talking a, a shipping company. Second, you can like hate a, a, a server and love a restaurant or vice versa. You can love your server and hate the restaurant. It's not personal. Literally, we all hate FedEx. Um, and the delivery drivers have always been super nice with FedEx. It's just their shipping is terrible. So, of course, this stuff came through UPS. Look how pretty this is. I got this white sweater dress. It's like a turtleneck. It's a, looks like looks like it'll be about mid-knee length on me, but we'll see how much the bump impedes that. Got this ridiculously oversized leopard, leopard print pullover and I'm obsessed. Look at this, how fabulous is that? It's so obnoxious and I love it. Um, I got this in an extra large though, or a large, extra large, cause my bump, y'all. This kid is growing and he is kicking me hard. I feel like as soon as I hit 20 weeks, it went from like tiny little flitters every now and then to like, he is like, ramming his foot into my bladder every night. 
but that's not me complaining. I absolutely love little baby kicks. So got this in an extra large. Right, so while I'm gathering everything up, I will put you guys up high and then I'll show you what everything looks like in a second. So all you do for these pizzas, it is so simple. I measure everything out because I told you guys I count calories. Um, because that's just the easiest way for me to make sure I'm not eating 9,000 calories a day because trust me, there are days I want to, not because I'm hungry, but just because it sounds really fun to do that, you know? So I actually discovered like kind of recipe. One day I was just like really wanting pizza and so I just kind of made what we had in the fridge. So I take traditional pasta sauce because this is what we had open. Again, opportunist here. Um, this brand is 60 calories for half a cup. Then I take three of these um, Mission yellow corn tortillas. These are the low fat option. It's 120 calories for three of them. So I'm gonna make three pizzas. So I'm gonna make three little pizzas. Again, just the Mission brand. And then if you get the Hormel, I believe is how it's said, um, pepperonis with the 70% less fat, it is for 17 slices, only 70 calories. I don't love a ton of pepperonis on mine, so I do five pepperonis per pizza. Biggest calorie intake, and honestly, it's not even that big, a quarter cup of cheese of mozzarella. This is the like Laura Lynn from Publix brand. Uh, mozzarella cheese is 80 calories for a quarter of a cup. I definitely meant to measure that out before I put that in the pasta yeah so while this does not look like a lot of cheese it covers these pizzas i actually have a quarter cup in here not a half a cup of pasta sauce because i just used a little bit more for dipping sauce and a little quarter cup of cheese and you can definitely put more cheese on there it's not a huge deal but I do about five pepperonis per pizza. Then a little bit of Italian seasoning. Bake it at 400 degrees for about 10 minutes just because I like mine really crispy. And let me make sure that calorie count is accurate. Okay, so for everything I just shared, 349 calories for all three. And they are delicious and they're filling, or at least for me, they're filling. Um, and they take no time at all to prepare and 10 minutes to prepare. Friends, anatomy scan update. Sorry. Our little boy is perfect. I um, was really nervous. I've been talking about it on my Instagram. I was, I was nervous just because I know, you know, they can find anything wrong and, and not just with him with me um but our anatomy scan went great they only didn't get one picture and it was of his profile and we've actually seen his full profile at other you know when we did the my baby's debut but they, that doesn't count they have to have it for themselves so i have to go back at 24 weeks for my glucose test and we're gonna go get another scan then which i am not complaining about um and so she was like talking about it my my whole anatomy scan and she was like and your cervix was four centimeters long and she was like talking about it and I started getting nervous because the way she was like saying it I thought she was going to tell me I had a short cervix and she was like we don't worry about it unless it's two centimeters or under and I was like so she just had me all kinds of stress so everything's good with him and the teeny tiny I don't even know if I have told you guys this actually teeny teeny tiny little cyst that I had when I went for my eight-week appointment did rupture and I told him he's moving right now because I just, uh, we just ate breakfast. Um, and it's where his little feet were this morning, so I know I'm not making that up. Like, so sometimes I'll be like, am I just imagining this? No, it's where his feet were. Um, so they found a, it was from when the, you know, the cyst ruptures to shoot the egg into the fallopian tube, all the medical stuff. Basically what she said was mine just didn't rupture, and she was like, you have the corpus luteum that's controlling it. She said, it's gonna take care of it. it, it's not a problem, we're not worried about it. And like she said very casually, and then they told us at the eight week appointment, it's only considered a cyst if it's over two centimeters big. And mine, what was it, it was like 2.03. I mean, it was like, and she was like, this is, I mean, we have to call it a cyst, but like, so they weren't worried about it. And I did just ask her today, I said, if you just peek at my ovary, see if you see anything. And when we finished up, she said, I peeked in and there's nothing there. So 
that was good. Amniotic fluid was good. Three vessel umbilical cord. I am a happy mama and Sam is a happy dad. Our little boy is good. Y'all, this kid's hands. He got, he got long fingers. And his head, his head is measuring four days ahead. Like I have a big head, four days ahead. I have to push that thing out. Watch it, I'm gonna get like 40 weeks and they'll be like, oh, his head's measuring at a 41 weeker. And I'll be like, of course it is. He's my kid. But it was so cute because the ultrasound tech would like, I could watch her like, she would like kind of push the little thing into my belly and he would like hit it. And then there was one point she like pushed it into his butt. He bumped his little butt into it. I was like, this kid, I'm very sorry for my misbehaving child. But it was, it was good. Um, so we ate breakfast-ish, brunch. It's 11.30 now. Sam did a half day at work. So we're gonna go home and he's gonna get started on his work day and me too. So that was it. But I think I have hiccups. That's all I've got for this vlog. So we will see you guys in the next one. Love ya.